it's gonna be very interesting. They're both gonna come to come come to fight for real. He's out of range. So that's good what shot to the body. And Thomas Delorme. I, I will lead towards Virgil Ortiz Jr. Man, you know, as of right now. What? As of now, as of today, I got Virgil Ortiz uh, by decision. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get buddy back for the YouTube video. Bang your man, yes, sir, yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So look, check this out, man. We had last night, we had a pretty good uh, good night of boxing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to start off with uh, the main event, you know. <laughs> the main event, Rancis Bartholomew versus uh, Jose Ramirez. You know, <laughs> Rancis Bartholomew, man. <laughs> he, uh, you know, I, I, I think the fight went um, kind of how we anticipated, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Rancis Bartholomew, he did have a knockdown. It could have been a knockdown. It actually should have been counted as a knockdown on Jose Ramirez. But it was thanks to Bartholomew that it, it wasn't considered one, man. Because he... Um, you fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, man. He was such a little goofy behind down, man. He was just doing too much, man. He, I, I don't know why he uh, was hitting this man after the bell. I mean, I mean after he knocked him down, and he was he was just throwing a flurry of punches, looking like a little upset kid in the, in, in the candy store. He can't get what he want, and. <laughs> Like he was throwing a tantrum instead of throwing punches, man. And um, so yeah, it could have and should have been a knockdown. I think it should have been a knockdown by the referee, but you know, it could have also been a disqualification too because he clearly hit him when he was down. So I think that was a pretty fair trade, man. And and thankfully, it didn't change the outcome of the fight, I don't think. But however, it could have because if he would have got the knockdown, Bartholomew could have rushed down Ramirez after he got it, got a count and potentially stopped the fight. But you know what I'm saying? So you, you just gotta, you gotta keep your emotions. <laughs> in your and your wit about you man i don't know what the heck bartholomew bartholomew was doing man and ramirez goes down bartholomew does not stop punching <laughs> and but yeah so jose ramirez won i like i'm excited to see what's next for him you know what i'm saying he just now um uh he bounced back i think his only loss was to uh josh taylor so you know i don't know i don't, I don't know what's next for him but you know he, he has a lot of options so let's go to the um which is a co-main event which is really the biggest star on the card though is uh virgil ortiz jr and he fought Thomas Delorme. I don't think anybody, um, anybody thought that that fight would go any differently than it did. You know, it just it was just real early. You know, it's out of range. So that's good what shot to the body. And Thomas Delorme. Damn. I'm sorry. The first round it ended. Uh, first round knockout. So what's that's two consecutive fights um, to where um, Virgil Ortiz scored a. Uh, one round knock uh stoppages right you know what i'm saying first round stoppages so you know virgil ortiz he's on a collision course with tim zoo now it's official uh <laughs> that was a quick turnaround man so august 3rd we can anticipate him on the same card as terence crawford at the israel madrimov main event in los angeles uh hosted by um uh hosted in los angeles but you know uh uh, uh put on by um turkey al -Ashik. so i'm looking forward to this fight man i think um I think it's going to be a great fight. You know, uh, Virgil Ortiz has 100% knockout rate, similar to Artur Beterbiev. However, the difference is that Artur Beterbiev has a uh, has different competition. You know, what I'm saying Virgil Ortiz, his competition has been uh, pretty lackluster so far, uh, mediocre at best. So at this particular time and and juncture in their careers, I think uh, Virgil Ortiz's 100% KO rate is not as impressive as Artur Beterbiev's. But that could change. You know, what I'm saying when he fights Tim Zhu, because Tim Zhu's a warrior. You know, is he though? Tim Zhu has he has. Um, Unfortunate turn of events, you know, when he went to that fight against Fedora and he suffered a cut in the second round. And he lost his O and he lost his belt, you know what I'm saying? Now he's jumping right back in with Virgil Ortiz um, because he couldn't get that immediate rebatch with Fedora, um, you know, with Fedora being hurt and stuff like that. So he's out. So I think Tim Zhu, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot uh rides on this on, on the outcome of this of this of this fight for tim zoo and virgil ortiz as well you know you want to this is his first time stepping up a competition so he wants to look good and, and and convince us that he's a real deal is he though and um it, it, his, his outstanding the knockout streak is not just because of the uh mediocre competition and then with tim zoo you know he he he's he could potentially be phased out unfortunately you know what i'm saying he lost his o uh he lost his belts and then if he loses two in a row that's going to be difficult to bounce back from, especially because he's not a big name. You know, I like Tim Zhu. Boxer Pierce like Tim Zhu, but, you know, um, he would still be considered a dangerous fighter 
and you know then the market would it be would it really justify somebody taking that risk to fight him you know saying the risk was because people were willing to take that risk to fight him because he had a belt and he was undefeated you know what i'm saying but now if he has two and two l's in a row he, he, he like, let's just say he really needs to win this fight man so it's gonna be very interesting they're both gonna come to come come to fight for real i, I I will lead towards Virgil Ortiz Jr., man, you know, as of right now. You know, I'm going to do more analysis on it and get back with y'all. But as of now, as of today, I got Virgil Ortiz uh, by decision. What? You know, I'll, I'll have him with a stoppage. I don't think he's going to stop Tim Zoo, but he could. I don't think he'll stop Tim Zoo, man. I have, I have Virgil Ortiz winning by decision, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.